I'm gonna save the craziest, weirdest item for last. So stay tuned for that. All right, so <laughs> remember the Ralph Lauren shirt that I got at the garage sale? It is washed and clean and ready to be listed and it's still hanging there to be listed. Anyway, let's go into what I bought on Whatnot. And I bought this from um, Catfield and Thrifty and it was a bunch of really interesting this and that items that are vintage. So you guys know me, I like to look things up. Well, I decided that I was gonna buy stuff and I was gonna do an unboxing and we are gonna see what I got. I will have to look up what I paid for everything because I did not print that out. So um, we will either talk about those numbers at the end of the video or I will uh, pop up a screenshot or something. And then I'm also going to show you how I listed everything with a screenshot. So there is one brand of these that goes for big money. I can't think of what it is right now, but this is not it. However, uh, this, I want to say she started most of the items out at $2. So I'm guessing I paid $2 for this and it's new old stock. So I figure I can make some money on that for sure. So pretty cool item, definitely vintage, definitely my style. So let's open this. That's item number one. And I'm gonna reuse this box. You gotta love it when you get boxes you can reuse, right? Okay, let's get this open. And I'll have to try to remember, I don't even remember everything I got, but um, so this is her number to keep track of what I purchased. But the reason I bought this is because look at this bling. And I think this is like an old perfume thing, but she did say that the pump thing was missing or something. I don't really know how this works, but it says hand cut and it has information on here. So I need to do some research on this, but I just thought it was really beautiful. I don't know if it's valuable or not, but we'll find out. The next item I got is Oh, it's a little owl. Uh-oh. Oh, that came right off. Look how cute it is. Look how cute. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or sell it because I kind of love it. It's so cute, isn't it? But it's glass. Isn't it beautiful? Ooh. All right. So that is that. I'm gonna save the craziest, weirdest item for last. So stay tuned for that. But her whole show was jam packed with, um, she didn't know what she was pulling out of the box. Kind of like I do on my whatnot shows. I just kind of grab things, you know, and sell them. And if you guys are not on whatnot, you can use my referral link down below to get $15 to shop. And, um, that's in the description. So make sure you follow Cat Feel and Thrifty and I am Bolo Buddies over there. So this is an old coin. Oh, golly. <laughs> it's a, it says genuine leather right there. And it's an old coin thing. So I just thought it was cute and cool and the price was right. So I went ahead and grabbed it. So once you hit $8.35 on her show, shipping is free after that. So um, that also plays into a factor. I love when I hit free shipping. I have a tendency to buy more when I hit free shipping. But look at this belt buckle. How cool is that? And it says something. It says solid copper. And it says nickel silver. So nickel silver and solid copper. So I'm going to have to look that up. But it's a, I'm going to say it's probably vintage. Handmade maybe. How cool is that? I love it. So let's see what else we got. But I thought this would make for a super fun video. And if you guys want to sell on Whatnot, I also have a referral link down below that um, will tell Whatnot that I referred you. So you can check that out. And a lot of times people get accepted quicker if they use um, someone's referral link. So feel free to check that out. And I love selling on Whatnot, but I also love buying and sourcing on whatnot. 
So check out the app if you have not already, whether to buy or sell. All right, so I like these old, uh, these stickers come off really easy. I like these old, uh, I think it's a compact. How do I open it? Oh yeah, it's an old compact by Yardley. And I have heard of the brand Yardley before. So um, definitely picked that up. Yardley can be a bolo. I don't know if this one is, but we're gonna look it up. All right, let's get this open. I'm trying to remember everything I bought. It's entertaining. Oh, I remember what this is. This is really cool. She had the coolest stuff. And most of her items, I think she started at $2. You're Okay, I kind of ruined it. Can you guess what this is? It's an address book. What? It's an address book. How cool is that? That is rad. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay. We're still going here. I love this also. Such cool items. Such cool items. These are the type of things that I love to list. I think this is probably some sort of stone. Uh, there's no markings on it. And it opens up into a box. So it's just like a trinket box. But isn't it pretty? It does need clean there. So, but yeah, just a cool old trinket box. All right, the next item I bought this for my, um, I'm gonna do a demo video on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. Uh, that's one of the reasons I bought it. And also I just thought it was unique and I had, maybe I've seen one before, I'm not sure, but check this out. I'm guessing somebody has handmade this and they peck. You pull on it and it pecks. This guy's stuck. These two guys don't want to peck. Why aren't they pecking? Peck, peck already. So anyway, it's just like a toy that somebody has handcrafted. And I thought it was really cute, but there's actually corn. Isn't that funny? So I bought this. Maybe it only, maybe only two. Let's see. Why isn't this guy working? I don't know, maybe the head. Well, two of them work. So I don't know if this will be a big seller, but I figured I could at least do a fun video on my channel. Now the next item I paid up for because Seems So Vintage was there bidding against me. And there was another item that I got into a bidding war with um, Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle and uh, seems so vintage. We were all bidding against each other and Noelle won. Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle won and she has it listed for $500. So um, I'll have to show that to you guys. But here is the one that seems so vintage and I were battling it out for. They are doorknob things and I have sold these in the past. So typically these come in a kit and this one is kind of unglued a little bit, which is probably pretty normal for something this old. These are actually in pretty nice condition, um, but they're felt and they come out of a craft kit and even already made, they can be a bolo. Now, I have not looked these up, but I was willing to pay up a little bit for these because they were in such beautiful uh, condition. So you got Santa and a hot air balloon and then the other Santa. And they have the bling, the sequins. Somebody spent a lot of time on those. Now, the weirdest thing I bought, and if you're not following Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle, definitely follow her on YouTube. Check out Seems So Vintage and Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle also on Whatnot. I will link them down below. And Catfield and Thrifty, of course. But this is the weirdest thing I bought that day. And I bought it because weird cells and uh far I'm, I'm i'm getting it out of the saran wrap see are you wondering what it is <laughs> um farm girl scavenger noelle she always sells weird stuff and she always says weird cells well i know that also so when i saw this i'm like you know what 
it, it's weird. I'm definitely going to buy it and I'm going to see if I can sell it. Now, is it going to sell fast? Probably not. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out some keywords. So if you guys have any tips for me down in the comments, definitely uh, give me your keywords for this item. All right, here we go. You guys, this is a masterpiece. Are you ready for this? Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. Here it comes. What is that? <laughs> They're pantyhose people. They are pantyhose people. Are you kidding me? What is even happening here? So there's the back and there's the front. So not only did I buy it from Cat Feel and Thrifty, but Cat Feel and Thrifty bought it thinking somebody would buy it. And who's crazy enough to buy something like this? Yours truly. I have no idea. Um, I think these are nylons or pantyhose. And here's the little baby up here. And mama looks mad. And daddy looks, he looks kind of happy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on here. What do you guys think about this? Would you have bought it or left it behind? Let me know down in the comments. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this was my whatnot haul. Oh my goodness, I just found daddy's glasses. Something was poking me. I think these go on daddy. Yes, they do. They were poking me. I'm like, what's poking me? So daddy has glasses. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, do you love it? Are you guys all gonna race to my eBay store to buy it? <laughs> I'm gonna price it high, friends. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Check out the people in the description and give them a follow over on Whatnot. Don't forget to grab my referral link and get your $15 to shop. Yes, you can source on Whatnot. I bought some different fun things that I thought would be educational. Some of them, I don't know if they're gonna be a good seller or not. We're gonna find out together, but um, yeah. I thought it would be a fun video. Thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.